welcome to this CNCF uh, session on an introduction to telecom initiatives from the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. I'm Taylor Carpenter, owner and the software cooperative Volt Co-op. I've been using Linux for over 20 years and an open source advocate in that whole time. Been working with uh, CNCF the last three years, helping with CICD, DevOps, uh, Cloud Native Networking, and other items. If you'd like to continue this conversation for this ONES session, um, we'll be on the Cloud Native Networking Slack channel in ONES. And uh, these slides should be available in Sketch uh, after the session if they're not up there available right now. Uh, Priyanka Sharma, General Manager of uh, CNCF, is also here. And if you have questions um, during the session, please press the little Q&A button and add them in. Um, Lucina, product owner on, on the, some of these initiatives, CNF Conformance, CNF Testbed, and owner and Volt Cooperative is also here to help answer questions. So today we're gonna go over the different initiatives. We'll talk about some of the driving factors and then dig in a little bit to each one of the initiatives talk about how you can get involved and have some time to go over any Q&A items we didn't go into during uh, the, the live session. All right, so the cloud native landscape is extensive as you can see here. Um, Dan's uh, had a, a funny tweet about it where some folks are, find it useful some overwhelming, some call it the hellscape. Um, the main point here would be there's a lot of projects, technology groups that are building cloud native uh, software and, and trying to help others. So CNCF would like to help service providers and developers in the telecom domain in navigating that landscape and trying to gain the benefits from the different technologies. There's currently three initiatives, the Telecom User Group, the CNF Testbed and CNF Conformance, providing output for the different end users. The Telecom User Group is a place to come together where we can discuss ideas, new technology, um, needs from the telecom domain, from providers, service providers, from vendors, um, any telecom developers, and look at things like best practices from different communities, talk about gaps in the technology or maybe processes. A lot of it can be the language, trying to understand the different My audio was out. Okay, I hope I'm back, y'all. So the CNF testbed is a platform, a framework, and a set of examples that help you in reviewing the different emerging technologies. And you can reproduce the test results, um, the use cases, any examples. You can also use it for creating your own. The CNF Conformance Initiative is a test suite, an open source test suite that helps service providers and developers um, by allowing you to test the workload applications or cloud native network functions, as well as the underlying telecom platforms. This helps service providers to select solutions that 
meet their needs um, when those solutions adhere to principles that are important to them. And it helps the developers in both demonstrating that they follow these best practices and it also directly helps them to improve their software by providing feedback and tools in testing. Behind all of these initiatives, we have cloud native guiding principles. Um, these build on years and years of other um, best practices and principles like those from DevOps um, all the way back through Unix philosophies, agile software development, and other best practices and patterns. The cloud native definition talks about some of these and what would be expected to be seen in the technologies and how these can help a telecom make changes like security updates move quickly into production in a predictable uh, manner. There's a whole set of cloud native um, networking principles papers that go in depth on each one of the principles that have extensive references to um, other documents, best practices and experts in the domains. And it helps us to ask questions from a telecom perspective, how you're going to configure these systems and how do we handle immutable infrastructure and what are the different properties underneath so that we know how to apply them at every layer and then we can get to specific definitions like a cloud native network function and a cloud native network function is a cloud native application cloud native applications have a lot of best practices and principles that you can look at and running microservices and following the immutable infrastructure. One of the big ones would be the repeatable deployment process. So in DevOps uh, philosophy, one of the big things would be your CI CD pipeline that allows you to safely and predictably move all those changes. So that's a big thing on allowing developers to make changes, have new features, make security updates, and then safely move those into production. The platform also builds on the same principles. So when we look at service discovery, if the platform provides service discovery in a cloud native way, then your workloads can register and find other um, workload components, CNS, to build themselves and the platform can help manage that. Um, it pushes a lot of the work into the platform and allows the CNF developers to focus on their business needs that they can excel at. And you're gonna see this all the way through all the layers of the platform and up through the workload. Another driver is community collaboration from the CNCF side. From the LF standpoint, um, there's engagement all the way through uh, many different com uh, large communities. So all of the L LNF groups like ONAP and FDIO CSET for the testing, the new XGVela platform of service initiative, the OPNFV and CNTT um, work for the Kubernetes reference um, architecture as well as all the CNCF and Kubernetes initiatives like individual projects and SIGs and everything else. There's also interaction across the different communities and um, outside of LNF like the folks from the ORAN, Open Air Interface Software Alliance and providers like Packet who um, are interested in working with the different communities and we engage with them and give feedback. And then we go directly to end users like the uh, telecom service providers and developers themselves so that we can get the feedback to the CNCF initiatives and back into other communities that we're interacting with. So many efforts and initiatives and CNCF is from the telecom perspective is trying to be engaged in all the parts so that we can help 
from the requirement side where you look at cognitive principles, best practices from the Kubernetes and CNCF community, um, implementations like those that you see in the CNTT OPNFE effort, um, XGVela directly collaborating with projects. On the testing side, um, we build on to existing testing to add additional parts like the Kubernetes and data tests and conformance and then what CNTT is doing to be able to plug in there, as well as the certifications that different groups would like to have. So this all ties together from those principles, community collaboration into the different initiatives um, and the output having all of those as the drivers for many different end users, individual as well as groups. The telecom user group has a good number of members from both vendors as well as service providers. And we have been meeting regularly since 2019, including some face-to-face. -face. This one would have been a face-to-face -face if, if we were all together. And talking about those different ideas and looking at requirements and gaps and how things are moving forward within the Kubernetes and CNCF community, as well as the changing needs in the telecom world. We have created a white paper called the Cloud Native Thinking for Telecommunication, which is more of an introduction on the collaboration between cloud native and telecom. And then there's a extensive set of papers, cloud native networking that are sourced in the cloud native thinking for telecommunication as well as within other groups. And that goes back to the collaboration. So the Kubernetes based reference architecture documents for the CNTT OPNFE work, the Principal papers are sourced and a lot of that's in there. And this comes from best practices and references within the Kubernetes and cloud native world. We've um, identified various gaps and scope within the requirements, both for the reference architecture as well as the implementation side and continue to give feedback and work directly with both CNCF and Kubernetes projects to ensure that they're hearing those things and encouraging collaboration. So the Telcom user group meets on the first Mondays of the month. It has alternating times, 1500 and 1100 UTC. The next uh, Zoom meeting will be October 5th, uh, 1500 UTC. And you can find more details on the Telcom user group GitHub page. I see one question. I'm gonna take a quick look and see what's oh, there. It looks like it was dismissed and audio. Okay. It was an audio question, so I dismissed it since you fixed it. No problem. All right. And then if anyone in chat, um, if you have any questions, just please add them to the Q&A or raise your hand if you would like to speak directly. Um, hi, Jim from LFN, I see you and some other folks. <clears throat> All right. So the CNF testbed is a, a second initiative and it also has collaboration across many, many vendors and service providers that are engaged. You can see some of those there, here and different projects and initiatives um, pointing out the FDIC set where we've had a lot of direct collaboration on the testing efforts that they do. Uh, network service mesh involved with some of the examples. Intel and Samsung have, have been engaged um, trying to provide examples, updates, and we've had um, many different participants helping in different ways in this effort. So it's an open source software uh, across the board and it allows um, out-of-box deployments to pack it uh, for both the hardware and network provisioning portions. Um, the focus is on supporting different technology options and trying to have each stage of the process 
be as uncompl uncomplicated as reasonably possible so that you can come in and understand the pieces. We can plug in different parts if we want to try different technology. It also tries to use upstream community tooling. So we use CubeSpray, a SIG testing project, and we use NFV Bench, which is an OpenFV project for performance testing. And there's other uh, tools in there and technology that are upstream within the different communities that we're interacting with. And we try to follow cloud native principles wherever possible. And that ties in with how things are done on the cloud native principles. Uh, we're looking at applying those from the provisioning standpoint when we're going from the hardware provisioning, the host or node, if you're saying on the Kubernetes side, uh, the networking, the underlying, uh, underlying network, so layer two networking or whatever we're working with, as well as all the way through the different layers up through the examples and use cases that we're deploying. And then we try to highlight any problems that we may see um, for either whether it's missing items that we may want for a telecom needs or out of band procedures. So maybe it's not Kubernetes native or we feel that we're having to step outside of a process that we think would be more helpful and try to note those. And we also try to highlight where specific technology has done a good job in following cloud native principles or being more uh, Kubernetes native for that side and um, bring some focus to that. So it's fully repeatable. Um, wherever possible, we use in-band components. The examples go all the way from very minimal so that you can understand one small piece all the way through larger use cases. And those build up and where, wherever possible, we try to make it where each component can be put together and, into larger, more complicated potential use cases, but you can break it down at the small side. And we have several examples that show different types of technology being used. That's the same type of use case or examples so that you can compare those and, and have an idea of which you may want to use. So we welcome your participation in the CNF testbed. Um, you can get the software on the GitHub page. And if you have an API key from Packet, then you can deploy the testbed you should be able to deploy any of the examples that we have um, active right now. If you'd like to deploy your own uh, network functions, you should be able to package them up and, and do that. If you wanna share any results from that, we would love to see it. And if you'd like to contribute, we would love to see more examples, improvements to the actual tool chain, so provisioning process, the deployment of, of the cluster, and um you're you're welcome to do that including ideas for issues or we have a spec board if it, it comes to something that we need to brainstorm on the cnf conformance side um, we also have uh, many different contributors from different projects and uh, companies it's a open source test suite it's modeled after the kubernetes conformance program and by that i'm saying the testing portion so the, and, and the process for how you could test it. So you can self-test, you can download the software and run it to test your CNS, uh, the cloud name network functions or the applications specifically, as well as the underlying platform. And it should provide visibility on how well the platform and those CNS are following cloud native principles. We expect it to help service providers in adhering um, and identifying solutions that adhere to the principles. And we wanted to provide the tools and feedback that can help developers improve their technology. It's also um, something that we hope could be used as a checkbox, the tool suite, as well as and the results for any type of certification programs. Along with that, I would announce uh, it has been integrated with the CNTT Open, OPNFV project, specifically the Funk, te Funk Test framework that's used for validating the uh, Kubernetes-based architecture 
Right now it's integration for the workload, so it's running. Uh, platform testing will be added, and we expect to test different CNFs as we collaborate with them. So here's a look at some of the categories um, within the, the conformance test suite. These are used for discussing uh, the different needs that telecoms may have, and tests themselves may go across different categories. But, uh, sometimes the focus is on that configuration lifecycle, the initial deployment, so installability, and then we can get into other things like statelessness, which means cloud native, how to handle data in a cloud native way, all the way through resilience and observability. If we take a look at some of the workload tests that are there and available right now, um, you'll see some in um, many of the categories from microservices all the way through resilience. On the resilience side, you can see a few like uh, containers or the applications dying or having problems. What would we do? What would we handle? And what's expected by the application? Likewise, if we look at the platform test, uh, you can see different ones from compatibility. Are they thinking about configuration from the CRD side, security aspects? And then when we get to the resilience, you'll see it, problems, um, how the platform can handle problems like a node failure. So does the machine die? Does the platform handle stuff like network outages and other things in a way that allows a, a, a telecom service provider to continue with services as they uh, would need. So the platform testing itself is expecting that any telecom platform would be conformant to Kubernetes conformance. So this could lead to uh, the platforms that are being provided to a service provider could even be certified Kubernetes. And then what happens then is the CNF conformance builds on that. So looking at add-ons to Kubernetes, as well as the underlying uh, provisioning aspect for the nodes and hosts and how do things come up. And we care about all the layers in between. So this is an extension to that core uh, testing, ADE testing, that's very extensive that Kubernetes does. And we go to many different places to gather requirements when we're thinking in users and how do we help them. Uh, of course, as mentioned, we, we do talk with CNTT and work within the Kubernetes reference architecture, and there's back and forth on trying to understand and gather that. We're also working directly with service providers, developers, and then within the uh, Kubernetes and CNCF community, going to the different pro projects, talking about best practices for security and observability and all those sort of things, and those driving cloud native principles. Within the CNF conformance itself, we have uh, some examples. So this would be in addition to stuff you may find in CNF testbed, uh, we have uh, core DNS, the Envoy proxy, a VPP based IP forwarder, which can be used for service chaining and other things, uh, Linkerd2. These are some that we have examples that you can come and see. We may add some future ones. Uh, the Clearwater IMS and BIOS are software that's being used by CNTT for testing, and some service providers also use those. So we're looking at testing those with the CNF conformance. And there's many others, including Evolve Packet Core examples and other items. If you would like to test um, using these, uh, you can go and look at the large amount of documentation we have from very simple get quick starts for CNF developers if you want to test CNFs or test your platform all the way through extensive source-based installation or if you'd like to get engaged as a test developer a lot of that's going to be good. There's usage instructions that cover from the individual test all the way through running categories or the whole suite with platform and workload prerequisites, including how to use kind, if you'd like to do that, use the CNF testbed tool chain to deploy a cluster and test with that, and the different example configurations, if you'd like to get started and either use 
the CNS that are there, or use those to test your own CNS. Here's a quick look at running it. If you'd like to test all of the workload um, items or CNS specifically, you run CNF conformance workload. Likewise, for testing all, running all the platform tests, you can run with a platform command. And you should see in the console an output similar to this, where you're gonna have all the different tests, and this is a snapshot, it would continue going, of the different tests and whether you passed or failed. And then there's a final score for all the tests that ran and how well it did for the platform or the CNF itself. The results are saved into an external file, which you can check. So the scoring system is based on the Sonoboy Kubernetes um, conformance test suite, which allows you to, within the CNF conformance, you can configure the scoring for the different individual tests and the YAML configuration file and other items. And then the test results are also saved into a YAML file with all of the individual tests, the different groups, as well as the final score. So that can be consumed and then redisplayed in some way, similar to what's happening on the CNT, uh, LFN CNTT OVB, OVB2 results and likely to be directly part of the badging program on their side. But it could also be used directly by service providers that are wanting to test a platform or an a application side, and then by the CNF developers directly so that they can get the feedback. Um, what I showed before is minimal um, information, but we can also turn it on for highly verbose if, uh, for developers to use. If you'd like to contribute, we have a contributing guide. Uh, we'd love to see pull requests for improvements across the board from documentation through new ideas and a new test. And we're going to continue to collaborate with the different communities, providing output from all these different um, initiatives. We'd love to invite you to the meetings on the CNF conformance and testbed. We have a technical meeting that's combining both of those. It meets every Thursday at 1415 UTC. And then again, the telecom user group uh, is the first Mondays with the next one on October 5th. You can reach out to us via the telecom user group mailing list, the CNCF public Slack channels for all these initiatives. You can reach myself directly via email, taylor at vault.coop or Dan Kahn via dan at linuxfoundation.org. We're also on Twitter and GitHub if you'd like to reach us that way. So there's some related sessions I wanted to point out. The Cloud Native for Edge and Service Providers, this was a Monday session, so um, you can check out the recording. And it had six CNCF projects all showing how they can be used within the um, telecom community. And then right now, there is a panel session with some service providers and different project um, leaders, including some people from the CNF conformance and testbed. These slides, again, will be available on Sketch. I'm happy to continue the conversation in the Cloud Native Networking Slack. We'd love to hear your feedback on the presentation, as well as how we can help service providers and developers in using the CNCF and Cloud Native technologies. Let's see if there's any Q&A. All right, Jim. Um, LFN hosts an end-user advisory group um, that is made of only the network operators. And there's members across both the groups. And the question is, are there opportunities to collaborate more? I think absolutely. I would um, love to collaborate more and whether that's on gap analysis or requirements, very important. Many service providers are saying, what is the underlying why and business reason? And I, th I think getting, listening directly to the uh, those network operators to be great. So, and it's gonna help 
what LFN is doing, which is on the more opinionated side, and um, CNCF, which is giving the options and view. So that collaboration, I think, is very important. I think we are at time. I'm not seeing any other questions um, in the Q&A. If anyone doesn't has anything else, um, please join the Cloud Native Networking Slack channel on ONES or any of the CNCF Slack channels for these initiatives. Please reach out to um, us and we're happy to help. Priyanka, Lucina, um, and myself specifically that are on this call. Thank you.